I've been active in cycling campaigning for quite a number of years now. In Dublin Cycling Campaign, obviously we are all about getting more bikes on the road, uh, reducing congestion, we're about the, a, a green climate change, we're supporting people actually getting out of their cars, getting into more active travel, walking and cycling. Uh, it, as part of that overall equation, we really want to see more uh, different types of bikes on the, on the streets of Dublin. In particular, the use of cargo bikes. We in Dublin Cycling Campaign have our own cargo bike. We transport a lot of gear. Instead of using vans or cars or motor vehicles, we can transport a lot of gear in these cargo bikes. It's just, they're just so useful. So there, there's a great variety of uses for them, and uh, particularly in the city. Where, where space is at a premium, where you won't be paying parking charges, where you won't have to pay massive insurance costs. Think about cargo bikes as an option, an option in terms of daily commuting, daily movement. I'm here today to talk about cargo bicycles. Uh, if we look at cities and countries which have well-developed um, bicycle culture, such as Copenhagen, they have 40,000 cargo bikes on the streets. They're very much a normal part of the cycling culture. And in Dublin, we've seen over the last 10 years more and more cargo bikes uh, on the streets, more and more parents bringing kids around, and at the same time we're seeing more and more bicycle lanes around Dublin, more greenways, more traffic-free routes, 30 km per hour speed limits, better bike parking, more incentives for people to cycle to work, and cargo bikes are very much part of that cultural shift. So within the cycling advocacy community, we're delighted to see this happen. And what we would also like to see happen is multi-storey car parks to more bike parking spaces and have special facilities for cargo bikes like they have in Malmo in Sweden, in Cambridge in Britain, in Utrecht in the Netherlands and lots of other places.